and you're listening to a podcast, The Ellie Castro Show. I am Ellie Castro. I am Mike Okendo, Mike Yo. Mike, what's up? Como esta mi gente? Tell me about the Salsa Cruise. Oh, the Salsa Cruise. Tell cruise. me. Tell me. Now, you know, this was my first cruise, but this was, this thing was massive. I mean, I, I knew, you know, you look at cruise ships and you know they're big, but yeah. you don't really appreciate how big these ships are until you're in one of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, oh, I, yeah. like I walked into this thing and it's like uh, it's like going into a plane. There's security and there's lines, right? And I walked into this thing and we went straight to the restaurant and it felt like I was in a hotel. It didn't feel like I was in a ship. I was thinking, you know, are we in the ship? No, we're in the ship. This is it. This is the restaurant. But it's it's amazing how much of like a hotel these things uh, seem like, feel like. Sure, sure. Have you been on a cruise? Yeah. The first one I went on was a Disney cruise with my daughter. And the second one I went on and went with my daughter and my son. And uh, I, you know, I was, I got to tell you, I'm just that person that I, I don't care if they give you a wristband, the neck medicine, the the pill you take. I got sick instantly and stayed sick for five days, but I was with my kids. I had to do what I had to do for them. But I, I love the entertainment value, and I love the you know the catering to you that, that I got on there. But I went the whole time. I don't know why. Papa, I took Dramamine like they were vitamin C pills. I had, you know, the little round patches you're supposed to put behind your ear? Yeah. Man, I put them everywhere. I looked like I had chicken pox, okay? Yeah. But, but you don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get sick. Maybe it was, maybe that was it. Maybe I just OD'd on Dramamine and the little patches. I mean, I adapted really well. Let me tell you something. I haven't slept so good in a long time. Wow. And that boat was rocking. We sailed through a storm where you would lay in bed and it would feel like somebody, like if you had like un sangano just moving the, the bed on you, like, you know, you have that, you always have that one cousin. Que no te yeah. Yeah. That's what it felt like. I felt like, you know, yeah, quieto, I'm quieto. But yeah. I slept so good. It was like the cuna effect. I felt oh, like I, I was it. in una cuna. Love it. Oh, I slept so good. And those rooms, you know, those rooms are pitch black. Absolute darkness. And I slept, oh, my God, I slept so good. Well, what time did you have to get up every morning? A la hora que yo quería. So you, you didn't have a schedule. You just got up. Yeah, no, because we performed at night. So, yeah. you know, por la mañana, you get up whenever. Oh, so give, so me an ex give me an example. What's the latest you got up? So the latest I got up was like 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh-huh. So but, you miss breakfast. Papa, you can eat breakfast whenever you want. <laughs> That's your <laughs> When I found out, listen, when I found out I could eat whenever I want, then there was no schedule, right? Oh, so that yeah. means I can make my own schedule. Oh, boy, you know what? Breakfast is at noon, lunch is at 4 o'clock, and dinner is at 10. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, it was all about, and, and I took naps. Yeah, oh, nice. I was nice. taking naps. I was hiding away. I'd hide out. And I'd hide out and get in, lock myself in that room. And every, listen, every hour was like midnight in that room. Oh, man, that is the best. I slept so good, man. <laughs> so Monday night we performed. Uh, as soon as we got there, the first day, Monday night we were performing. Uh, and then we were off. We didn't have another show till Thursday night. So Tuesday and Wednesday, man, I was free to watch it. Gran Combo perform, Tito Nieves perform. You know what oh, I mean? I oh. was in he I was salsa heaven, bro. Wow. Now, the women on this cruise, there must have been uh, a, a sale on cosmetic surgery because the women there was it was like a parade of cosmetic surgery patients uh, they had uh, like botox or uh, okay. like what cuál es la moda de ahora bueno que se ponen inyecciones en, 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 en la parte de atrás no en la parte de atrás right en el penil you're kidding me but puerto rican women do that listen it's like they all went at the same time got the work done, and then said, you know what? Let's go on a salsa cruise and show it off. You're kidding me. One after the other, bro. It was like they got, it was like medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, ridicula large, demasiado. Never seen anything like that. Wow. The kind of women that would sit down, bro, and they still look like they were standing up. I, I can't believe that. I mean, I'll be honest with you. Yo creía que es una moda de otra gente, pero no. 
de la mujer boricua, I didn't think that, man. Yeah, you're because la mujer boricua, they got enough penil, you would think. And there was a lot of this, you're saying. A lot. Wow. A lot. And you know, wow. listen, you're going to stare, right? But not mm -hmm. necessarily for a good reason. Mm -hmm. You're going to stare because you're like, ¿Qué es Yeah. Ella se va del cuarto y todavía se queda el penil atrás. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I can't yeah, believe bro. that. Yeah, bro. I can't. I, I'll be honest with you. I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm shocked by that. I could see the whole colored context and on occasion the Botox, but even still, you hardly ever see, at least I hardly ever see Puerto Rican women with the obvious effects of these visits to a cosmetic surgeon, you know? There was a lot, man. There was a lot oh, of wow. penil on that boat. So let me ask you a question. What do you know about this? I don't know anything about this. What do you do? You go, you say, you make an appointment, and you say, mire, con permiso, yo voy a pasar el viernes a las tres. Tienen tiempo para una cita. For what? What do you say? You know what? We should find out. Let's do it. All right, Let's do it. Thank you for calling Dr. F***'s office. This is Vanessa speaking. How may I assist you? Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Listen, I have some questions. Yes, was, how can I help you? Do you guys do um, surgeries for, like, the behind? We do a uh, fat transfer for that area. Okay, can you, because my, my, my friend got something like that, and it really works. Can you tell me more about that? Yeah, so what they do is they take all fat from different areas, and then they transfer it to the buttocks area. Oh, so like from the thighs and stuff? Because I've got a lot yeah, there. Yeah, he'll take fat. He has to evaluate you and see where you have, if you have, if you even have enough fat to be able to do that surgery. Oh, okay, girl, I got, I got enough. I got enough. Um, so like, does it hurt? That I, I wouldn't know. No one in our office has physically gotten that procedure, but they say that, that you just need like pillows to comfort the bottom area. But other than that, You just have normal pain medication. And is it like in, like, do I have to be, like, knocked out cold or? Yeah. Yeah, they do general anesthesia. And how, how long does the procedure take? That all depends on what areas he has to do. So they give you all the information when you come for the consultation. Oh, okay. And, um, like, how much does something like that go? It starts from 8000 and up. Okay. Okay. And you guys take insurance? No, we don't. Oh, okay. Um, and I can call and make a consultation? Yes, the consultation is $100, so you do need a credit card to schedule the appointment. And you have 24 hours to cancel if you're not going to make the appointment. Okay, and what's your name? Vanessa. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Mm, wow. Papa, ocho mil dólares. Eight thousand dollars? Eight thousand dollars? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They don't take insurance, bro. Man. I'm gonna start selling my fat now. I know what to do with this fat, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna start calling women up and saying, "Look, you're probably gonna need some fat. <laughs> If you can afford eight thousand, okay, you can drop another two thousand on Mikey O. I'll let you have some of my fat <laughs> from my gut, right? And basically, you'll have some Mikey O panza, right, on oh your tush. Eight thousand dollars. Eight. Thousand. It starts at eight thousand. That means it's eight thousand if there's minimal fat transfer. Oh my! Right. God. Pero mientras más tú tienes y más tú quieres, the more you have, the more you want, the more you're gonna have to pay, man. Can you imagine you walk out of there with eight, ten, twelve thousand dollars for a for a bigger buttock, bro? Eight thousand dollars. Did you know? Did you notice, by the way, that the lady I was talking to was obviously Latina, right? Oh yeah, Vanessa. Yeah. So when I asked her, "Does it hurt?" She was like, "None of the girls here have gotten it done." For claro que no. No, 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 porque tanto a para allá voy. Oye, dame la sí, dame la dirección de esa clínica que yo voy para allá. Eso es natural. <laughs> you, you know, she wanted to be like, "No, aquí somos oh, todos naturales." God. Hello, none of us, none of the girls here need it. Hello. La mujer. Boricua, la mujer latina es una mujer bella. Se cuida. Yes. Se cuida. Amen. Yo entiendo. Pero yo, yo dudo que hay una docena o 20 o 30 mujeres latinas que están pagando 8, 10, 8 o 10 mil dólares, ¿me entiende? To have that done. I can't see that. Well, I don't know. I don't know if it's. Maybe, maybe it's the guy. Maybe the guy saying, Mama, yo te pago, yo te lo, yo te lo pago, yo te lo pago todo. 
papá, el hombre latino no va a pagar para eso. No, 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 no se paga un plato de bistec ensabollado, se va a pagar un fat transfer. Oh, my God. Pero mira, if you know anybody, listen, if you're listening to this show and you want to get this procedure done and you happen not to have the fat, I can help you. Yo la vendo a, a, a 400 pesos la media libra. Yeah, just, they'll just walk in there with a bag of Mikey's fat or like Oprah did, just uh, wheel it out in a big, in, in, like, like in a wagon. No, yo, yeah, yo no, yo voy con ella, yo voy con ella. Yo voy con ella, yo me acuesto también, que me hagan noticia a mí también. Ocho mil dólares, oh my well, God. Listen, maybe it was just that office, you know, that maybe they're the, at the higher end Because I'm telling you right now, or maybe they were giving out discounts because I saw a lot of women that had obviously had their fat transferred to the penile area. Wow. And you could tell, man. You know you could tell. You know when, when a woman's had a facelift on, you could tell. They walk, wow. they walk like they should be in a zoo. Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine una una Lucía walking in like, mira, yo quiero un una que me, yo quiero básicamente un transfer de de manteca, por favor. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Eh, oh, tú ves, yeah. tú ves estos mulos, yo quiero la carne de estos mulos que me los suba más arriba. <laughs> And what, what I want is, yo quiero una mesa atrás, yo quiero una mesa. I want people oh. to put their drinks, mm. okay, back there. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, her butt is just so big. So let me tell you about my room, okay? Yes. Now, I expected rooms on a cruise ship to be small. I got I, I get that, okay? I'm not I wasn't I wasn't expecting a lot. It was basically large enough for one bed and then you had fold out beds that came out from the wall. Está bien, fine. But mine didn't even have a window. It had the cutout for a window and a curtain over it, but it was just a wall. How sick is that? Wow. It had the cutout and the curtain, but just you op I opened it bien lucido. Mira, vamos a ver el view. And it was just una pared. Because I guess it was an interior room. Está bien, but then don't put a curtain with a cutout of a window in an interior room. Right. Don't give me the illusion. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what that's called, right? And the, every ship has a, a public housing section. You were in the public housing section. <laughs> yeah, I was. It's a section eight part of the ship. Yeah. But then, you know, what you do is, you know, especially when you're Puerto Rican, you're going to walk around the ship. And if somebody has a door open, what are you going to do? You're going to look inside. Yeah. Right? I'm going to go to the porquería de cuarto que tiene este, right? And I went to Joey's room. He had two beds and he had a window with a view. I could see wow. the ocean. I could see the ocean. Ya tuve como te tratan. See how they treat you, bro? And I go, what? What is this? We're doing the same amount of work. I think we're equally funny. Why don't we get equal rooms? Right? Wow. No, yeah. no, no. I get I get a cutout of a window with a wall in it. Then I walked by and I walked into Tito's room. Tito Nieves. Yes. Tito had, he, Tito had a, not a, it wasn't even a suite, okay? It wasn't even a suite. This guy, he had a room, una sala. Un comedor. Tenía, What? Tenía hasta patio, okay? With a little dog running around. He had a balcony with seats. This wow. thing, This thing was an estate. It had columns in the room. Impressive. Wow. ¿Y por qué? Porque, porque canta. Eso porque nada canta. Pero, they, do they call it a suite or what do they call it? They call it a, a VIP penthouse or what? They call it Tito's room. <laughs> That's what they call, they call it Tito's room. Yeah, they didn't even have a number. Like I was U two three three, Joey was U thirty eight, and Tito was Tito's room. That was it. <laughs> That was it. Oh man, they brought it, man. Tito on that ship put on a show. I mean that that everybody there is gonna remember, man. Listen, at one point he even played and sang with Jerry Rivas from a Gran Combo who played the guitar while Tito was singing. Wow. I didn't even know Jerry Rivas played the guitar. He played the tres. You know, the tres, not even the cuatro. Yeah, the yeah. Tres. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jamming wow. to the tres while Tito was singing on stage, bro. Wow. I mean, Tito brought that boat down. I mean, I'm telling mm. you, I mean, it was impressive. Mira que... Well, that's why he got the VIP suite. 
<laughs> porque canta. Porque canta. La gran cosa. How was the Grand Combo? Did you hang out with them? And you know, what I did, was that man. Like? I did, I did. Uh, what was that like? That was incredible, man. It still is. It still is incredible to hang around. It, they're royalty, man. Que tú me tienes temblando de noche y de día. Tú me hiciste brujería. Bruja, bruja, brujita. Tú me hiciste brujería. Demonio. Check this out. I learned that they were twenty. There, there were twenty five hundred people on that boat, passengers, and there were a thousand crew members. Yeah. But there were only enough lifeboats to accommodate 3,000 people. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Not everybody would get a lifeboat. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there would be 500 people that would be out. Wow. How crazy is that? Nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started looking around thinking, esta se queda. Because you could tell. You could tell which of the crew would stay behind. Lo, lo, lo que, lo que. Explícame, explícame. Lo gordito. No. <laughs> No, I'm saying, I'm saying, like, like I, I couldn't figure out, I couldn't figure out how to get a message from my phone because it kept blinking. So, yeah. I, like, you know, you know, there's a message there. It's just like in a hotel. Yeah. So I go outside, and the guy that's in charge of my floor or my section <clears throat> was there, and I go, Mira, how do I, how do I check my messages? Because my light is blinking. He's like, Oh no, no, that that just uh, means that uh, the phone is working. I go, What? Yeah, 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 it blinks, it blinks. That means that the power is on. Uh, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that doesn't make. It makes absolutely no sense. So of course I call, and they're like, "Oh, you have to dial 038 to get your messages." So I go outside. I tell him. He goes, "Oh, all these years I've been working, I didn't know that." And I go, "You know what? Tu te queda." Ese se queda. Ese se queda. Ese se queda. Ese se queda. He had, all these years he had no idea how somebody would check a message on a phone. Tu te queda. Or when I was eating and I asked for ketchup, the guy took 20 minutes to bring me back a, a little bowl of ketchup. Tu te queda. Or this lady who gets in the pool, bro. In the pool, there's people sitting around you. We're two feet away. She gets, she can't swim two feet without creating a tidal wave. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That the kind of people that think they're swimming, but I feel like rescuing them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay, ma? Are you okay? What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get together. Just enjoy the concert. Why? Anyway, why you gotta swim while somebody's performing? <laughs> Can you wait till the concert's over? So you, the pool's small anyway. Why? Why you gotta swim? You can't do laps on this pool. It's like yeah. a kiddie pool for adults. Why are you swimming? It's three feet across. Get to watch She's splashing around like she's waiting for a lifeguard to jump in. Get to watch it. Yeah, that's all. But Tito's playing this whole time. Tito's playing and people feel they need to swim. Why are you swimming? Oh my God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has because then, of course, you know you can't you you can't let them know que te molesta. No, yeah, te, te meten una pela. No, but, but then they'll splash more. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You let no, them know que te know. molesta, and then of course, ah, oh, mira este, and they're gonna splash. Vente tú, jump in, let's splash, let's all splash. Yeah, you know right. I mean? No, mira, ya yeah, no le gusta. Yo pagué, yo pagué para estar aquí. Yo pagué tú también. pagaste. Yo pagué también. Tú pagaste, yo, yo pagué. Fíjate, yo pagué. Yo ¿Y pag sabes qué? Que no voy para el show tuyo. <laughs> yo, y yo pagué ocho mil pesos por estos perniles, ¿sabes? <laughs> <laughs> no voy para el show tuyo, Eli. Exactly. ¿Dónde está Joey? Que me gusta Joey mejor. Yeah, Joey, Joey's funnier. So then, of course, you got to sit there and smile like you like it. Ah, mira, I like the way you splash and you wet my whole... Yeah, look, my shirt is all wet. Qué bueno. Qué bueno. Uh, no, no vine a mojarme y ahora estoy bien mojado. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> I love you. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, I, I, some of you know, I was supposed to be on that cruise. Ellie, I was supposed to be on that cruise. And unfortunately, what happens sometimes in this business, uh, you're not really allowed to turn away opportunity. And uh, I got this production opportunity. I worked with this lady closely to try to move it. And we couldn't move it. And we went back and forth. And so, obviously, I had to surrender my place. But... Um, but, uh, I'm going to tell you, I, I really, my feelings were hurt every single time I saw pictures. And what I loved about it was people from New York, Puerto Rico, Los Angeles, Everybody was Chicago, there. you know, I love that all those people were posting and representing from different parts of the United States. So everybody was, but, there. Uh, everybody was there and everybody kept asking about you. Where's Mikey? Where's Mikey? Where's Mikey? And I was like, well, no, no te quiere, no te quiere. Oh man, that's uh, that's hot, man. Let me ask you this last question about the cruise. What was your favorite, favorite, favorite meal? Because you know, you know, we always got to talk about a food a little bit. What was your favorite meal? Now, see, you would have been disappointed. 
It, the the food was uh, was was not was just not impressive. It just wasn't. It was a uh, cafeteria food. So what you're saying to me is that there was no arroz con andule? Yes, the, I will tell you that there was an attempt at arroz okay. con andules. Okay. They so all those have, pictures. They did have lechon. How it was, was it? It was okay. Okay. It was okay, but you know, this is one of those where, where maybe like los cocineros weren't Puerto Rican, right? The recipes were, but the cocineros weren't, so something gets lost in the translation. Yeah. So yeah. I I thought that the food you're definitely not gonna go on the salsa cruise for the food, you know what I mean? Yeah. You're gonna go for the salsa. Well, uh, people were posting that arroz con andula, saying, "Oh, this is the best arroz con andula." Da, 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 da. This is the best arroz con andula. I said, "Man, that arroz con andula must have been impressive." I must have seen thirty pictures of that arroz that's, con andula. That's because it was one night. Yeah. Oh, so I see. And you were it. so happy to see something you recognize. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's it, and you know happened. what? Listen, we went to one time on the restaurant. They had a, a arroz con pollo. I'm not yeah. kidding. They served you. Everybody got one piece of pollo. Oh wow! I'm they about, made that a point. I'm talking about a boneless chicken, like like a, like the size of a nugget. Yeah. Okay. Everybody got a bowl of rice, and there was one piece of pollo in that bowl. Everybody got one piece of chicken. Wow! They were rationing off the food. They were rationing off the food. Like we got one. But this is like the the 33 miners. You got to yeah. just eat one. We want to be <laughs> able to have enough to get back. <laughs> this is all the food we have left. To keep us alive, we have to ration it carefully. If we plan on surviving down here until we are rescued. Rescued? Oh, man. Well, you know, Myrna is the woman who puts that together, right? She, uh, she's she got a big role in that, right? Myrna from New York? Yes. And I yes. think she does a great job. She does a great job. God, you know, that's an awesome. No, my my kudos to her. God bless her. And, uh, and She took over the whole ship, man. Wow. She took, And not only that. Not only did she take over the whole ship, which is in, insane, the, the the amount of money that is involved here. She took over the whole ship, and I still saw her multiple times throughout the cruise. Wow. She still made it a point to enjoy it, which I admire, right? Because, yeah. you know, people would be, you know, you would be micromanaging it. You'd be, <clears throat> I'd be next to the captain. Yeah. But she was still going around with a glass of wine, and she was enjoying it, and 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 people loved seeing her, man, because you don't see anything like that. Everybody wants to be on her salsa cruise. Yeah. So listen, if you are interested in that 2017 cruise, uh, you can Google her or look her up on Facebook and um, salsacruise.com. Uh, salsacruise.com. Get on that right away, because like I said, that filled up, and I'm going to make it a point not to take any bookings. For those two weeks, period, stay completely away from them. I'm going next year. That's it. I mean, I could. Uh, no, yo voy. No, yo voy. Yo voy. Te digo la verdad, yo voy. Y si no, pues me voy para el crucero de allá de, 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 de San Juan a, ¿cómo se llama? A Vieque. Pues lo mismo que se llama. And you'll just bring a, a couple of congas. That's it. Me hago gum, mi propio gum, crucero. Gum, gum. So, I'm going to tell you, I, I, as you know, Eli, one of the things I love about your shows and about your writing is that you always have a way of digging deep into Puerto Ricans at another level. You know, all the little sayings. Right. I was at Target today and uh, this little kid was just out of control. And there was an area where, you know, listen, Halloween was yesterday and today everything was 75 percent off. Mm. So there, there's this kid and he's after his mom to get her this item. And, you know, she's going back and forth and you could hear him screaming. But oh my. Pero mai, bien pero mai. Bien mal criado. Yeah, and she was like on her cell phone. Espérate, Roberto. Espérate, Roberto. Mai. Classic moment at Target. She looks at him and she says, Roberto, te calmas o te calmo. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. And I'm going to tell you something, bro. She goes, Roberto, te calmas o te calmo. And this kid, uh -huh. era trigueñito, and he was paper white. Se le fuera sangre. And he just looked at her. He locked down. She went right back to her conversation. And I was like, that was Puerto Rican discipline at its best. Because that kid. Yeah, that's 101. Then the parent graduates from that phrase to just <laughs> a look. Yeah. Because then yeah. you could, you could, because sometimes you can't communicate that because people might go, oh my God, mira esa, mira que está, que está vida. Oh, don't hit your kids, right? So then parents have learned to communicate that with just a look. 
like the the squint their eyes, you know when you squint your eyes like that and you just kinda hear como que, como que yeah. you, you grit your cheese like that, como que you're just smiling, you're just smiling, and then you just start <laughs> nodding really slow. And that means calmate or they calmo when there are no witnesses. Oh yeah. No, we got that yeah. look, didn't we? We got the, I got that look plenty of times. Oof, man, that or, was it. Or just a hand up. Just a hand up. Calmate or Listen, bro. I'm <laughs> hey, I'm out. I mean, this lady, this lady scared me. Did I tell you about the time when I was at the in a Walmart in Puerto Rico? No. I was in a Walmart in Puerto Rico and this was packed. Every Walmart in Puerto Rico was packed every day. So I'm in line and there's this kid in the carrito está sentado. And again, bien mal criado. Ah, yelling, tirando las cosas. And the mom's like picking him up. And she's, you know, trying to get ready to pay. Y él gritando y tirando las cosas al piso. And she would bring it back to the car. And she's like, para eso, para eso. No, deja eso. Deja eso, right? Marcos, deja eso. And ah, importa. Right? The kid must have been, I don't know, like seven. I'm standing right <laughs> behind, right? Kid runs out of stuff to throw. And he reaches over and he punches me. Punches you? Yes, duro, duro. So, you know, I'm trying to hold that. <clears throat> you know, important, right? The mom sees it. And she goes, Tú le diste a ese hombre? And he's like uh -oh. frozen. She's like, Tú le diste a ese hombre? Uh -oh. So he wouldn't, he wouldn't answer her, right? So she comes to me. She goes, Él te dio. Oh, and, my God. Yeah. And I was like, uh, you know, I was like, Sí, sí, pero tú sabes, como que, ah, no, 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 ninguna gran cosa. She goes, Ah, Él te dio. And then she looks over at him. She goes, Ahora el Señor te va a dar a ti. Round one, fight! Oh, oh what? And I go, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she looks at me, she goes, Ahora, dale, dale ahora, dale tú, dale tú. Dale tú para que aprenda. And I go, oh, no, 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 really. No, that's okay. That's okay. No, 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 no. And she goes, Ahora el hombre te va a dar arte para que, para que tú aprendas a no darle a la gente. And I go, no, no, oh. de, de verdad, no lo voy a dar. She goes, dale, dale duro. Mira, dale por aquí, dale por aquí, dale duro. Finish him. I go, <laughs> I go, no, 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 I'm not, no lo voy a dar. Chacho, the guy behind me moves, moves me aside and goes, pues yo le doy, porque le tengo una gana. <laughs> oh, man. And that is our show. Thank you, Mikey Yo. El podcast se acabó. So if you liked it, please share it, subscribe, let your friends and family know. Uh, we've been getting a lot of downloads, which we're very grateful about. So thank you. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, uh, EllieCastro.com uh, for future shows, MikeyOComedy.com for future shows and events. And remember, life is just so much better when you're laughing. Bendición, mi gente. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. And when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Te calmas o te calmo.